morning guys. Just got over here good times last night. Uh, it was darker, didn't have time to shoot it, but you can see the wind damage. <laughs> Just keep having one thing after another, but we'll get it. The wind broke this back piece. If you remember it ran it ran up and over. This is it on the floor came down and was hooked here and had three cross members going up like this all these brand new but yeah it broke it so another project but i'm not too upset over it um if y'all don't know i was already talking about putting solar panels so it was coming down soon anyways wait hold up there big boy back up a little bit we got to do this week's giveaway. Now, FYI, we're doing some changes going forward. The giveaways can end up being anywhere in the video. So you got to watch the win. We're going to do another big t-shirt giveaway this week. I'm feeling generous. I appreciate everybody's kind words and thoughts. I really do appreciate that. But this week's giveaway from last video who was the name of the person that I called when I couldn't get hold of Marty? I called my other buddy. As a hint, he's been in other videos. What's his name? Drop it below. First one wins a t-shirt. So <clears throat> I did a video and I'm going to answer some more questions. Uh, that Quite a few of the same questions. And let's get a flashlight. Show you what. Show you what we got going on. There's a mess back here because the um, everything's wet. And I got the things going, but if you can see, that was a hole from like one over there. Notice the big pump back here. It's going to be important. Got the dehumidifier running. But I'm going to show you. That is a temporary. I just put it in there to put on this battery to charge it, make sure we didn't have any more problems. See that pump back there? There's a pump down there. And then I want to show you, here's another one that I just put in this morning. It's a pretty cool one. This is a rule uh 3407 says they're pretty cool pump that's the old one now it appeared to be working but something strange i'm not 100 percent sure what it was there's another one a new one wonder what that is it's an oil catcher piece of white stuff so long story short uh, because that one had some weird I don't know what it was something just strange about it and if you remember we were talking about um, something tripped that breaker it's on a 12 volt system I don't know how that could have happened but out of an abundance of caution I replaced that one. I'm going to take this old one back with me and just do some tests on it at the shop and just 100% confirm that it's good and then it can be a backup. I'd rather do that than have to worry about it. So, uh, let's see. Let me check these other questions and answer these questions. Okay, I'm answering. I'm reading off some of the questions that I had from the last video. And one was, obviously, was there a leak? So you've seen, and I'm sure the video of the 
which is a toothbrush um, in the hole. I had a light that was mounted on the back of the boat I put it on about three years ago and apparently the screws they sent with it were not stainless steel. They rotted and while we were underway to Pelican Bay that last trip, it came loose, flopping in the water and it come off and then water came in that hole. Well, we were in route. Now it's about a quarter inch hole and I came down for some reason, was in the back cabin, I heard the water. Well, you noticed the pump back there. Pump was doing his job well, keeping up. So I looked around, you know, trying to find something, couldn't, didn't have anything on board. We were obviously out in the water. So I found that um, toothbrush is what it was, where you'll find on a boat, you better learn how to adapt and adjust and overcome because stuff happens all the time and you may have to make some temporary repairs. So I did that, put it in there. It worked perfectly. It held the whole trip. I kept checking on it less and less over time as I was confident that it was holding. Uh, get all the way back, I'm watching it, thinking about what I should do with it. And I'm hauling the boat out in a couple more weeks from now um, and to do a bottom job and that's when I was gonna fix it. I glass over it, I'll fill it with wood and glass over it and fix it properly. Of course, you can't do that in the water. So I left it. So fast forward, that thing popped out. As you've seen, there's four pumps on this boat. There's no reason that a quarter inch hole could have ever or should have ever overrun these pumps by no, by no measure. There should be no way that could have happened. But something happened. Something tripped the breaker that I still don't know yet what done that. So to solve that, that's a brand new battery charger that's there. And what I've decided to do is I got a breaker under the galley in that galley area that has, um, it's on a different breaker than the one that that pump is on. And so my plan is to have two pumps pulling from the one battery bank and other pumps pulling from another battery that's also on a different charger just to eliminate that chance of ever happening again. As I said, I'm getting ready to put the new tops on and had already decided uh, this just confirmed that to put the solar panels on and they will run directly to the batteries to ensure that they're being charged independent of any breaker ever tripping and all, of course when we're off on the hook. So hopefully that answers that question. Did the marina find and stop the leak? They didn't stop the leak but a boater from behind us um, seen the good times listen a little bit called and they the marina came down which is what they do they got a pump they put the pump down there which the water was up about from what I can tell six inches to a foot down below in the fort cabin they put it through the whole porthole and uh, pumped it out so it was only leaking a little bit obviously but no I don't there doesn't appear to be any other leak other than that and it, she's been fine uh, Adventures of Happy as Hours said, asked a question, should I have called the insurance company? So I thought a lot about that, but as you know, with any insurance company, if you get too many claims, they're going to drop you, and I have a good one now, and I, once I assess the damage, and of course that's why I didn't call them immediately, I realized I'll do the repairs myself and not do a claim. If it would have been a loss of a lot, I absolutely would have. That's why you buy insurance. But, so I, I'm of the opinion, if you don't have to, don't. Um, oh, he also brought up that there's a lot of commercials on my videos. I'm sorry, I can't help that. Uh, as part of getting monetized, of course, you get have to have commercials on your videos. Trust me, it don't make a whole lot, but it does help. Um, do you have a high water alarm? Yes, I do have a high water alarm. However, or, um, outside of you can't hear it outside of the boat. And my neighbor's boat right next to me, he's actually got one that is super loud. And I'm probably gonna put something like that on because especially if uh, our boat's red hook and I'm not on good times and Marty's on his, he would hear if a problem ever occurred. So I'm gonna put another alarm 
and probably because of that setup put another switch higher so when that thing goes off there's no accidental activations that you're very aware aware, aware of it mike rutledge asked uh, are all the pumps on the same circuit can you split them into separate ones i think i've sort of answered that that's exactly uh, right is i'm gonna split them into different circuits so i'll have two onboard chargers and they will be on separate circuits so if one trips for whatever reason i've never had that breaker trip so to this day i can't tell you what happened but uh if it ever did it again i shouldn't have a problem this other one should still be charging at least one of those pumps and just to sort of tell you what i was saying a quarter inch pump a quarter inch hole in the back of the boat was about the size of my finger or smaller it's about the size of my pinky that's just that's the pump out of just one of four pumps i have on board so that's why it made no sense that this boat could ever i mean you'd have to some crash into it and knock a big old hole in it and uh there is a reason why i have so many pumps and it's because of past situations i'll share that real quick this is a captain's corner thing and until this happens to you you wouldn't even think it could happen but it happened I was on a trip going to the keys uh, my 2016 or 2017 trip uh, i'll put this uh, a, a, a um, link to that video or that series but all right so we're heading down south we're off of 10,000 islands which is where you have no phone service no radio no nothing you're on your own it was dark we were doing a little nighttime navigation trying to make up a little time uh and uh it was a beautiful night though not uh there was some moon up not too much we were looking at the stars and we we're running and i felt she felt just a little sluggish good times didn't feel right as a captain you should always be in touch with your boat and when you feel something's not right go check it out I told the guys i said y'all watch the steering i went down i came down i opened these doors and there was water up over that stringer so the motors were turning spinning and throwing water up i i didn't freak out but it was much concern because basically we're sinking and we're out in the middle of nowhere it's that dark so I quickly, I was looking in there with a the flashlight and I have this big flashlight, which I strongly encourage if you're gonna ever do any much boating, you have a flashlight and it stays in the very same place. I put it in that container up there. I know right where it's at in a split second, that knives and stuff like that. So I grabbed the flashlight and I'm looking and I was able to, to determine that it was coming from the pump the raw water pump which is sucking in seawater so i cut the engine off sure enough i could tell it stopped and then there's a valve and i cut the valve off and then i just let the pumps do their thing and they pumped it down so we actually had to continue on because that pump was broken then otherwise it had been pumping water in the boat we continued on under one engine uh, that's why I like to have two engines. If something happens, you at least got another engine to get you home. So, um, but that night, that was a scary deal. From that uh, is why, and I think only at that time I had uh, two pumps, maybe three. I forget, but I got to the total of four. But from that experience. So, times that I've had water, and I've had that happen again, actually, where, where, uh, that pump burst the housing actual burst you're gonna have it in boating you're gonna have lines burst you're gonna have things happen so you just want to have enough pumps that will operate that'll save you so so basically i wanted to uh, recap uh from my last video maybe if it wasn't clear enough about what the damage was as you know i got the new refrigerator in um, i pulled the ac out um, I'm going to replace the carpet for the trip anyway, so not a big deal. Um, let's see. Now, obviously, I'm going to cut that, cut that uh, back section of that top loose today. And then I'll start working on my molds for my 
um, top that I'm going to build. And you'll, you'll see that. Obviously, I'll do a video about it. But I hope this answers any questions. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And uh, I'll try to answer them. But I, hopefully, that gets to most of your questions. Hey, guys. Hope that answered most of your questions. Like I said, if you have any more, just leave me a comment below. That's going to end up the regular video. I'm going to do the extended video parts here. If you want to hang around, take a look. Question for the next week's giveaway may come from this. I'm going somewhere. Let's see where I end up. As usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now's a good time to do that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, how about considering hitting that like button? And for your sake, hit that bell notification so you're notified, have a chance to win some of this good merchandise. I sure appreciate y'all watching. See you soon. You know it's gonna be a good time.
Thank you